that's why we got to bring this out, man. That's why we got to come out on the highways and byways. Jake think what he doing is okay. Then when we tell him it's not, you get upset with us, but mm -hmm. you really upset with your Howard by Shimmy Howard shot. You know, fuck how you feel, and he gonna tell you the same thing. Exactly. Your Howard shot gonna tell you the same thing when he come with that sword. Got something quick. It's Proverbs yeah. 14 and 12. There is a way with seeming right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right, you see there? There's a way that seems right unto the wicked, man, but the end is death. The end of all this eating poor, women out of order, niggas committing adultery, bitches committing adultery, the end of all that is death. You know? The wages of sin are death. Or is dead. Yep. You niggas gonna die. Oh. And we getting your wicked ass blood off of our hands, man. To hell with a two-third nigga, man. And his emotional ass feelings. Yep. And Jake Favor saying, you say something about that poor shit, or you just tell them how unhealthy it is. You ain't gotta say nothing about the scripture. Oh shit, I've been eating it my whole life and I'm still living. And all people out here jacked up, man. Our people are jacked up in every way. Read it out. Isaiah 59 and 13. In transgressings and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Oh, man, that's heavy. Hey, bro, I'm going to read that one more time. Yeah, you can read that again, man. Speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood, man. Hey, that word didn't mean revolt, man. Because that's what y'all doing, man. Y'all waging a spiritual uh, revolution against the Lord, man. When he's sending out his prophets out here to tell you uh, what to do according to his word, and y'all buck up and want to fight and talk shit. That nigga earlier, he, he wanted to try to get, get bold and tough, but he... Probably he knew he would have got his ass slaughtered if he would have jumped on that mold. Yeah, but Jake be want really want to fight you after you condemn their ass and cut them with his word, man. Cause that's their last defense. Oh fuck the Bible now. That's when they start saying the white man wrote it. All it's things that need to be tweaked. Cause it's cutting your wicked ass soul and you too proud to accept the truth, man. Hey, and then it says speaking oppression, no man. Come. Cause what the uh. That's in John 8 and 32, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Okay. But these niggas speaking lies to oppress. Oh, uh, I can. It's okay. To, the, uh, the, the Lord say to, to subdue. The, the, the Lord say to subdue the earth. No, it didn't say that, man. That's speaking oppression. You keeping your people oppressed, man. In the, uh, into Babylon. Yeah. You know, teaching that. Uh, our people are one and that Lord is our love. That's speaking oppression because that's keeping you locked in sin, man. Yeah. You know, and that's what Jake want to stay. That's why two thirds of you, man, we understand fully why Yahweh by Shemi Shah said two thirds of his people going to die and don't have no problem. I have zero problem with that. Go through that one more time, man. Instead of speaking oppression, man. Y'all ain't y'all ain't setting Jake free with the truth. Yep. Binding them up, man. You're right, keeping them bound up, which they that's religion. You got it. Isaiah 59 and 13. In transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering. From the heart, words of falsehood. Man, that, yeah, that's a that's a mouthful right there, man. But that Jake is guilty of all that shit, man. Which me myself was guilty of that shit, man, at one point in time. But we had to get cursed at and rebuked in order to repent. That's how we telling this dude up here was to repent. He couldn't receive the message and refused to repent, so he took offense. Now the Lord also said, blessed is he who is not offended in me. And this nigga was offended, so obviously he is not blessed. Then another dude want to talk about, you might miss your blessing. 
No, he missed his blessing. Yeah. Because it ain't for him. How we gonna miss a blessing by accepting a wicked nigga, man? Right. Hey, I told him he had to be reborn again. He that's said he was already he reborn. He was already reborn. He sure did. And see, that Jake bugged out, man, speaking lying words. Drunk. Keeping himself in oppression. But when you think you're free, you don't do nothing to get free. That's the illusion of Babylon, the matrix. This is the matrix where you think you're free. And tell a nigga he's still in captivity. Tell a nigga he's still a slave. No, I, I, I'm free. You a goddamn lie, you free. You get up and punch that clock every day for this so-called white man. You know? Selling drugs. Got, yeah, selling drugs, even if you ain't, you know, got a quote unquote nine to five. You pushing them drugs that came from the white man. The CIA is the kingpin of dope, man. Not goddamn uh Frank Lucas. Yeah, Rick, Rick Ross. Not Rick Ross. Now, any of them clowns that they done glorified, man, they glorify them niggas to keep you in that oppression. All them niggas came to the same fate, man, locked up yeah. or get shot up in the streets. They Ain't none of them ever had a, a, a happy ending in this shit. Yeah. You know? So, right, the Jake, Jake is in oppression. There's no two ways about that. You're going to stay in oppression, man, with that, that this Babylonian mindset, man. You got to come back, first of all, to the, your, not the knowledge of your nationality and then get in, into your heritage, which is these scriptures, man. These scriptures let you know who you are, how you should be, man. We should be as men walking this earth, man. Like Elder Gabar said, man, you got to reclaim your manhood. They don't walk around here like no punk. Don't be no punk ass nigga, man. Well, this nigga was being a punk ass nigga up yep. here, man. A little bitch ass. Both nigga. of them. Hey, then once he got cut, the Rastafarian nigga, once he got cut, he said, the, he did denounce the Bible and said it's a white man book. But then he got a scripture tattoo to do with. That's a bug out. Yeah, and he said he, he, loved, loved, he loved Straight the Bible. Up. He loved the scripture. But then denounced it when the word started cutting him, then he, he had to denounce it. Of course. Then had to try to then say, y'all need to read some more. Right. And then well, when we read, well, the, 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 the Edomite, give me your own wisdom. Yeah. That's <laughs> it, man. We don't have any wisdom that, that, that I can come up with. Wisdom belongeth with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Gun. You know, yep. it belonged to him. I was reading that the other and day. Daniel you say that. And that's in there where I read that. That's right. That's yep. in the book yep. of Daniel. Yep. And the Lord give it to whoever he choose. Yep. You right, brother. The water. Hey, and then, Bishop, sure, like you said it, brother. That nigga was a complete bug out, man. Because he be speak lying about something. He say, man, he reading. They reading, but he ain't breaking nothing down, explaining it. And as he was saying that shit, the brother was sitting there explaining and expounding on the scripture. Yeah, you can go back. Well, I mean, you brothers just watching it, man. You can clearly see. We, we going and taking our time to explain these scriptures, man. Yeah, not, not that they was going to get it right, but they were not even paying attention. Yeah. Nigga wasn't paying attention. He said, well, read it again, man. Yeah. Read it slow. <laughs> read it slow and it, 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 for every word. Cause he was trying to think of a lot. Yeah, wing. He right. was trying to wing it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, see, they say let nature teach you. Yeah. No, that ain't what he said. Yeah. <laughs> don't, oh, say, don't let nature teach you. Right. It's two well, more verses need to go. Yeah. The, the, the point is coming up. Yeah. Read 15 to us. Uh, Isaiah 59 and 14. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. That's the point that I want, man. Judgment is turned away backwards here in Babylon. Everything is, is vice versa in this kingdom, man. Ass backwards, upside yep. down. You know? Read that again, I. Right? And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. And judgment standeth afar off, man. Especially for you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, man who love this system so dearly. Y'all the ones catching all the hell because judgment is turned backward. 
justice standing the far off. Y'all ain't getting no justice. You go to Esau court system, man. You think you're gonna get justice in there? Yeah. You go to jail, you lock your ass up, and then you're gonna look around, you're gonna see it's just us in that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, and the faith on this old no judgment, watch y'all go to the court systems and protest against the court right, system. Right, right. <laughs> watch y'all go fucking walk exactly. in the courthouse and say, oh, you're not supposed to judge. Come. That's my Watch point. Watch quit dialing 911 when something happened. That's my point. I was trying to explain to that cracker, man. Yeah. yeah. We, we're not going to live in a lawless society, man. We're going to have laws, statutes, these laws, statutes. And right. Things. And we're going to judge, you know? But right, Jake just bugged out with that. With that madness, man. Yeah. You're not supposed to judge. You know, I tried to go to Matthew 7. Uh, justify that. Hey, them same motherfuckers that goddamn get a, a, a summons to go to jury duty and take their ass in there and cast judgment on somebody, man. When they should protest and say we can't judge, yeah. only God can judge. Yeah. Fucking, but that show okay, you the white man. that they, yeah. the white man is your fucking judge. He's your God. Y'all not right. following the Most High. Y'all following Esau, man. That's who y'all believe. That's showing that we're another point to show that y'all think the so-called white man is your God, man. He got the power to do whatever he want. But you niggas on the street corner, y'all better shut up and don't say nothing. That's right! Well, guess what? The That's judgment it. of the Most High is at hand, man. And he's speaking through the mouth of them crazy niggas on the corner across the globe. This is all this, yeah, yeah, get that verse. And they eyes crazy niggas. Come, come. Right. Well, like in uh, what's that, Wisdom of Solomon 3. Mindset of a two-third nigga, man. It's uh, Isaiah 65, 69 and 14. And judgment is turned away backward. And justice standeth afar off. That's why there's no justice in this kingdom. Because right. y'all going by Esau's law. Y'all not seeking after the most high, man. That's why faggots got rights. That's why adulterers are committing adultery. Daily, not not caring the world about it, yep. bragging about it. That's why sluts you know, and goddamn come uh, cum buckets that's got right. power, uh, positions of that's power right, in brother. this place. Yep. That's why you got, you know, uh, man, it's so much madness, man. The woman head of the house in Babylon. Yeah. You can't do a goddamn thing about it. You know, put you on child support. Talk shit to you, man. Emasculate you. If you let them. This is why. Hey, bro, you go to uh, say you go do your taxes. A man that's taking care of everything in the fucking house financially can't even fucking file head of the household because a black bitch who don't do shit claim the child. Oh, well, you didn't claim no dependence, and so you can't claim how the household, even though it will show you right there. He saw letting you know you ain't running shit. But you paying all the child support. Right. You should be able to, to claim. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause she get, she just winning. The black woman just winning. Winning, right? Tell me this ain't her king. All I do is win. All, win, she, all win. they do is win, man. That's right. Win, and, win, win. That's all they, they winning, man. And then like, like the elders say, that's true, man. Some of these women, they they got the Monday nigga. Yeah. He 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 paid the light bill. They got the Tuesday nigga pay the cable and the phone, internet. They got the Wednesday nigga, you know, buy the groceries. And then the, the Friday nigga, you know, he he might probably get it for the weekend. He paying the rent. Right. You know, hey, you got bitches that do, they come straight out. These bitches bold with it now. They ain't, oh, I ain't after love. I'm looking for a nigga to pay my rent. I'm looking for a nigga to pay my car note. Don't come at me unless you talking about some money. That's uh, where these bitches at. Another thing these bitches like to do is, uh, a lot of these are black holes. This really just pertains to the black woman. They'll let these old ass uh, perverts pay them to like, they dick can't get hard no more, so they'll pay them to eat their pussy. They'll say, baby, let me pay you just to, they basically a sugar daddy, but them, them old cats can't get up, but they'll take the Viagra, get two pumps in and, and eat the box, and then pay them three, four hundred dollars or something. That's, that's more of this injustice, man. Yeah. They don't even know 
you, man, your shit's supposed to be strong till you die, man. Yeah. You ain't supposed to get in your 60s and get limp dip. Yeah, you better go juice some watermelon you know? <laughs> and get your right. shit jumping. Eating that goddamn pork, man. Heart bad, your blood can't circulate, your arteries clogged yeah. from a lifetime of eating pork and other Straight wickedness. up. Nigga, because it's crawfish season. How many of you yeah. niggas are having crawfish balls? Man, man? free crawfish, you know? yeah. Right. Come to happy hour here, get a drink, you get free crawfish. Then you get you get 60, you still want some box, and your shit don't respond. So you got to eat box all day now. Yeah, yeah, and pay for it. <laughs> you can't even eat the box for Come free. Come up looking like a glazed donut, man. Yeah, yeah. Damn that. <laughs> and the woman, the woman, black woman, mainly, her, her, her box is weaponized, man. That's a that's a weaponized box right there. Meaning that that's a weapon that the white man got out here to knock you niggas out, man. Man. Cause uh, I mean, how long you got the abortion? They they killing niggas before they even born. But shit, you you go up in the bitch now, you you allowed not to make it through the night. These bitches carrying so much shit around here, and you know. They just roaming through the hood free, fucking everybody. Yep. yep. Man. They eat crab and give you crabs. Mm-hmm. That's right. This uh Isaiah 59 and 14. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off, for truth is fallen in the street, Ooh. and equity cannot enter. See? Equity ain't gonna enter in Babylon, man. So well, that's why the Lord say he was making us fishers of men because he got an elect number that's going to hear his word, believe, and come into the fold. He know the number. The, Yahweh knows the number. Yahweh Shai knows the number because he told us, you know, Yahweh Shai said to the Father, them that you have given me, I have lost none. That none should be plucked out of my hand. So, you know, they know the number, and this is only for them you know and for the most part what we say ain't gonna fall on deaf ears because y'all don't want to get right y'all don't want to come to the light of yahweh bashim yahweh shot y'all want to remain in the darkness of this kingdom yeah which esau has constructed to keep you negroes latinos native americans from going off or keep you going off, going off. Yeah. No. In that pursuit of happiness, man. That's all y'all doing. Y'all chasing this chasing American her. dream that you'll never get, man. Y'all like a donkey with a stick and a carrot in front of your face, man. You ain't gonna never get there. You can keep looking at it on the TV, open up your, your Android or your iPhone and seeing what you want, what you uh, want in, in life, but you'll never get there, man. Unless you sell out to the highest. You said it, bro. They chasing that, uh, they chasing that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow yeah. that doesn't exist, you know? But yeah, what did it say about truth? I For truth is falling in the street, and equity cannot enter. Yeah, truth is falling, man, in the street. Equity, which is what we are bringing you, the truth, it, it can't enter into a wicked nigga. Hell no, he's not going to receive it. So yeah, that's, that's this good. This one more verse. Okay, bro. all right. Yeah, truth fell it, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, oh, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Come it on, displeased brother. the Most High that there was no judgment, but you niggas saying that you, that you can't it up, judge, brother. man. That summed up everything, Y'all bugged the fuck out, man. That's right. The Most High left, left us this law to judge by this law, man. That's exactly right, brother. Now, Hey, hey, one more time on that, I... Isaiah 59 and 15. Yeah, truth fell it, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Right, we a prey up here, man. Like the brother brought out earlier, the, we went into Romans, the 12th chapter, man. Make that body a living sacrifice, you know. We give up certain things for this truth, man. We're, we give up everything, everything for this man. truth, man. You know, the elect. They gonna give up everything for this truth. Yep. So we sacrificed our life to come into this this new life, man. And then on top of that, we made ourselves a prey. We marked 
by those powers that be, man. We for sure on their red list, you know? But like the brother said, you know, why fear death? Why fear, you gonna die anyway. Regardless, at least with this truth, we got a chance not to taste of death. Some of the elect not gonna taste of death, you know, but there'll be some that will. But with this truth, we got a chance to escape death. And in the end, whether you, you know, down this side or not, if you the elect, you gonna get that eternal life. You know? But you other niggas, y'all gonna die. So why worry about what, what a white man can do? The scripture tells you that. Worry about him that's able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Yeah, what you got, huh? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 4. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. We, our hope is, is full. We, we, man, we, we hoping for the kingdom, man, to get that everlasting life. To live that full day with your howl by shimmy how shot, man. You know, in righteousness, man. And then, and then at the end of that, uh, of that, that full day, you ain't gonna die. You just gonna exit to the spirit world, man. Ain't gotta worry about laying up on no deathbed in the right, hospital. Right, that's my point. With tubes up in you. Doctors putting pumping shit all into your body. Worry about, you know, you in a, in a wheelchair on the yeah. cane, you know. Having taking, strokes every three months. Catches, right. Yeah, got no. your Monday through Sunday pills in a box. Right. You gonna, you gonna have full vitality, man, when you at the end of that thousand years. You know? One more time, right?